Streaming speakers are not new, but they normally sound like high-end ghetto blasters. If you're looking for streaming speakers that sound a lot better, keep watching. Welcome to the HB channel, my name is Hans Beekhuizen and in this show we look at the Teufel Raumfeld Stereo M streaming speaker system. Teufel is a Berlin, Germany based manufacturer that started in 1997 as Lautsprecher Teufel and converted their best business model in 1990 by going direct to the customer. Today they sell loudspeakers and electronics solely through their webshop. The buyer has the right to return whatever he bought within 8 weeks if it's not up to his expectations and the equipment is returned undamaged and in the original packing of course. The Stereo M is a complete streaming stereo set that comprises of a streamer, a stereo amplifier and two speakers and is fully remote controllable from a tablet or smartphone. The only thing you will see are two speakers since the streamer and amp are integrated in one of the speakers. Nothing new you would think, and you're right, except these speakers are built along guidelines for proper speaker building and produce superior sound compared to the plastic streaming speakers that have become so popular these days. Since with speakers there still is no substitute for cubic inches, they me measure 42 by 21 by 27.5 centimeters and weigh 11.5 or 10.5 kilos. One speaker contains the streamer and the amplifier and therefore is somewhat heavier, despite being of the same size. On the front, the speaker also has a volume knob, five push buttons and two LEDs to indicate the status. The top rear of this speaker holds a stereo line in an RCA, a network connector, a USB connector that accepts USB storage devices, a recessed reset button and a setup button. All the way down you'll find an IEC power connector and a power switch. Halfway down a set of speaker binding posts are situated. These are not inputs but outputs to the second speaker. A speaker cord that comes with the set has more or less color coded strands, two shades of transparency. That makes it blend in with wood pattern plinths but keeping the polarity right on the low light conditions is slightly more difficult. Along with the speaker cable there is a power cord, a network cable, 2 times 4 adhesive rubber feet and even a small template that helps you stick the rubber feet at a fixed distance from each corner. It's a German product you know. The speaker front is held on magnetically and can easily be removed. It hides a three-way system, a 25mm fabric dome tweeter, an 11 cm cellulose coated mid-range driver and a 14 cm polypropylene base driver mounted in a base reflex cabinet. The speakers are magnetically shielded. The Stereo Class D amplifier in one of the speakers delivers 140 watts RMS and passive crossovers are used. Teufel claims a hefty acoustic output level of 108 dB SPL at 1 meter, almost the 110 dB sound pressure level you find at a rock concert. I did indeed measure 108 dB SPL, but from about 94 dB SPL upwards the sound is rather rough. No problem though, 94 dB SPL is already very loud, it equals the loudness of a jackhammer at about 2 meters. Just saying. The set offers both wired and wireless LAN. The latter, according to the 802.11p, G and N standards, and also supporting WPA and WPA2 password protections. MP2, MP3, WMA, WAV, AAC, FLAG, AUG, and Apple Lossless are supported. Files up to 192 kilohertz and 24 bits can be played provided the network is fast enough. For Wi-Fi 802.11n is the minimum for 24 bit 192 kHz, although I'd rather use a wired network. According to the label on the rear only 230 volts AC, 
50 Hz is accepted as power, which is fine for European viewers but a no-go for viewers on some other continents. But Teufel doesn't ship outside of Europe. Time to set it up. If you already watched the Teufel Raumfeld connector video, you can go to the timecode below to skip the setup and the app description. The manual comes in English and German and is no more than a basic setup guide. Not that there is much to explain, but an explanation of the five unlabeled buttons on the front of the active speaker would have been handy. Especially since these buttons will be much appreciated by many. On the tablet or smartphone select the playback situation you want to store and when it's playing simply press and hold the preset button until you hear a ping from the speakers. It's like how many car stereos store preset radio stations. The next time you press that button the same program will be played. This can be handy if you connect your TV to the Raumfeld set for better sound. Simply press the program button and your TV sound is played through the set. You could program your breakfast radio show under a second button for when you get up in the morning and so on. But first we have to configure the set using the free iOS or Android tablet or smartphone app. Start up the Raumfeld app and follow the instructions on the screen. When that routine is finished you add one or more network shares that you hold your music. You just select from a list of possible sources. Shown are computers that hold shares or DLA services. After that the system will start indexing your music which can take a rather long time, longer than with other systems. But it did index all of my 142,000 tracks while for instance Sonos is limited to 30,000 to 45,000 depending on the metadata. If every track has a cover art included, like I have, it's rather 30,000. Not with the Raumfeld apparently. When asked Teufel replied that up to 150,000 tracks can be indexed and with the Raumfeld Expand Wi-Fi hub it is supposed to handle over 300,000. The Expand might be a good idea for those that have their home network used intensively since it provides a separate Wi-Fi network for the Raumfeld products only. You can also connect a USB hard disk to it holding your music. Given the 70 euro price tag a cheaper solution than a NAS. Time to look at the remote control. I use an iPad but an Android tablet would equally do. I iOS and Android smartphones can be used too but the limited screen estate may makes it less comfortable. After starting the app you will see the home screen that holds a list of played music and on the right the album art and song title of the track playing with further down the transport controls. Tapping a radio station or album pops up a list with playback options. If play is chosen that music starts playing right away. Selecting my music in the top bar brings up a list of your music, in this case sorted by artist. When selecting an artist you see the albums of the artist, in this case Diana Kroll. Pressing the play but button next to her name starts playing all her albums but you can also select one album or one track. Along the top of this window you can choose for so sorting on album, genres, favorites, composers, recently added, by folder and on track. Tapping the left corner of the, the album art shows the playlist. Tap the center and the technical data of the music files are shown. Under the transport function Music zones can be activated, grouped and deactivated. The volume knob in the lower right corner also has a fold out menu for tone and balance control. Other sources are selected in the top row where TuneIn offers plenty of internet radio stations and subscription services as Tidal, shown here, Wimp, Spotify and Napster by Rhapsody. You can also select the line input on any Raumfeld device in your system and play it on the same or any other Raumfeld device. Selecting your own music collection is also a breeze as we have seen. I once said that any remote app for music players works just as fine, as long as you get used to it. 
the Roundfeld app proved me wrong. I really love the way all kinds of info and settings are accessible from the main screen and that's even more than I have described here. The app isn't as solidly robust as that of Sonos and Bluesound, it for instance jumps back to the home screen after short connection losses that occur from time to time. That doesn't stop me from calling it my personal favourite, but please do note the word personal, for judging user interfaces is always a personal matter. The stereo M set does gapless playback effortless. It sounds classes better than the compact plastic boxes I have heard from about any manufacturer that jumped a multi room speaker bandwagon, pun intended. All further reference therefore are in reference to my set 3. Compared to that I would prefer my set 3, but including a stream rate would cost a tad more and you'll end up with a pile of equipment and wires. I wouldn't mind, but you may. The Stereo M set has a powerful deep pace that is slightly accentuated and a fairly open mid-range. The weak points are the highs that tend to be slightly harsh when compared to my set 3. There is a fair stereo image that might even be called good given the price. The stereo M set lands just below my set 3, a fair position given the 899 euro price tag. King of Multiroom System Sonos offers a single play 5 for 459 euros. To do stereo you need two of them, so you end up paying more than for the Teufel Roundfeld Stereo M set reviewed here. Both offer multiroom and wireless, although the Sonos app is slightly more robust and the Stereo M needs to have a speaker wire between the two speakers. But the Stereo M does sampling frequencies up to 192 kHz 24 bit can handle 4 to 5 times as much tracks, even 8 to 10 times when adding the expand hub and, most important, would be my choice by far sound wise. I further love the app layout better and love the fact that you can return the set within 8 weeks if it's not up to your expectations. It's an affordable way to have decent music enjoyment. You can read the full article including links to the manufacturer on the hbproject.com. More videos are on the way so subscribe to my channel, follow my Facebook page, my Google Plus page or my Twitter account if you want to keep up to date. You'll find the information in the description below. Questions can be posted below on my Facebook or Google Plus page or on the contact page on the hbproject.com. And if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends about it. My name is Hans Beekhuizen for the HB channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.